Now, just after Prosecutor Joe Dieters announced his decision, Sam DeBose's family gathered outside while Dieters was still talking to the media. Uh, DeBose's sister, Tarina Allen, says she feels like the decision sends a message that justice won't be pursued if the incident involves a police officer and an African-American. They didn't see it the way we saw it because Sam was a black man in the United States of America with a record. And if you have a record, police are free to shoot you in the head. She went on to say that shootings like this will not stop until an officer is convicted. Now we have also been talking to demonstrators and community members, all who have very strong reaction to Dieter's decision to not retry Tenzing. Anchor Julie O'Neill joins us live with their response. And Julie, what did they have to say? Well, Tanya, as early as 11 this morning, people started gathering outside Prosecutor Joe Dieter's office with signs protesting. Um, they have now dispersed. We have a few people over here gathered with one sign, so it is quiet right now. But those protesters tell us that does not mean the mission for a conviction stops here. Members of the Countdown to Conviction Coalition, Black Lives Matter, and other Cincinnati social groups gathered together with the goal of getting a third trial to convict former UC officer Ray Tenzing. Back in June, that second hung jury allowed him to walk free again. But some are saying that evidence shown during the trial should have been enough for jurors. He chose to ignore evidence that would have and should have convicted anyone in a situation like that. So the only way that we're going to be able to see justice in this case is if we really organize and come together and say enough is enough, you can't keep killing black men. Okay, so tonight, beginning at 6, the Countdown to Conviction Coalition is going to be meeting at the Peasley Center and over the Rhine to begin planning their next call for action. Uh, in the meantime, you know, you heard it from a couple of people. I've talked to a couple of dozen people just walking around downtown, black and white. This uh, opinions on this do not necessarily fall along racial lines. Most I spoke to who are just regular people on the street weren't so passionate about their opinions, and many just said they feel like the system needs to improve in general. Live at the courthouse, I'm Julie O'Neill for the Now Cincinnati. Julie, thanks so much. You know, we also heard from Stu Matthews. He, of course, the defense attorney who represented Ray Tenzing in both trials. He spoke with the Tenzing family right after today's announcement. They were relieved by Mr. Dieter's announcement this afternoon, um, but at the same time, disappointed that it's not over. Um, you know, when they heard that it, the Department of Justice may become involved in it and the potential years that that may tack on to this thing. So let's recap here. Ray Tenzing will not be tried a third time for murder. Charges against him have been dropped, but the case has been handed over to the U.S. Attorney to investigate possible civil rights violations. Right after today's announcement, I sat down one-on-one -on -one with Prosecutor Joe Dieters to ask him how this decision weighed on him. That is coming up on 9 on your side at 6.